In this training video, we will be covering how to install TPO RTS and wall flashing. We're going to review using our 6 inch TPO RTS strip for base termination along perimeter walls. This can also be used along penetrations as well. The advantage to using the 6 inch TPO RTS strip is when installed, we can use the field of the roof, connect to the RTS strip, and use it as flashing as well in one piece without doing a separate flashing piece. The 6 inch RTS strip can be installed two ways. The first way is to install it flat on the deck with the pressure sensitive tape towards the field of the roof, or we can install it with our fasteners into the vertical surface and our pressure sensitive tape onto the deck. The way we do not want to install it is install it with the pressure sensitive tape facing the outside of the building. Our strip will be fastened 12 inches on center using fasteners and plates. Once our RTS strip has been put into place, the next step that we're going to take is to fasten it down. After our RTS strip has been installed, the next step is we're going to take our field sheet, attach it to the RTS strip, and flash the wall. If this is a parapet wall, we always want to bring our flashing up and over the wall, if at all possible. If we're not able to, the next thing that we'll do is we're going to give a couple of marks which indicate our flashing height and where the top of our sheet will go. The next thing that I'll do is I'm going to make a small score in our release paper on the RTS strip so that when we pull this off, it'll rip in the proper place. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to snap a line showing where the top of our flashing is if we are unable to go up and over the parapet wall. The reason that we're doing this is so that we can control where our bonding adhesive will go so that we don't make a mess of the project. Once our field sheet has been cleaned, the next step that we're going to take is install our JMTPO membrane primer to the back of the field sheet, which will run up the wall. We're only going to install the JMTPO membrane primer to the area of the RTS, which has pressure sensitive tape. Before we install the JMTPO membrane primer, we need to ensure that our primer is thoroughly mixed. After our membrane primer has been installed, the next thing that we're going to do is install our membrane bonding adhesive. This is going to go to the entire substrate and we're going to keep this just below the line if our flashing is terminated here to keep the wall clean. It's also going to be installed just overlapping onto our primer all the way to the edge of the field sheet and we're going to keep it about an inch away. Before we install our membrane bonding adhesive, it's important that the bonding adhesive be thoroughly mixed. After our bonding adhesive has been installed, we have to let the adhesives flash properly prior to installation. Once our adhesive has been flashed off properly, we're ready to install the flashing onto the parapet wall. It's important that the membrane be rolled onto the wall as well as the RTS strip. We always want to extend our flashing up and over the wall when possible, but if we're not able to, this is where we kept this lip an inch down and we snapped the line that there's no adhesive showing 
and it will allow us to install our jam sealing mastic behind the flashing and then install our termination bar to the top of the flashing.